Hi, welcome to this 30 minute slow flow um, class. My name is Nalini and I'm um, a yoga instructor and I'm really excited to be leading this all for you. Um, for this class, you won't need any specific props. Um, if you have a yoga mat, that would be great. You can lay it out um, in whatever room you're in. Um, and if you have a stack of books, that could be helpful. Um, sometimes, you know, having some sort of prop that can bring your hand, you know, your hand up off the ground a little bit um, could be helpful. But again, I will give you tons of modifications that you can do so that if you don't have access to that, no problem. Um, so, all right, we will begin. So you're gonna come to your mat, um, standing at the top of your mat, just glancing down at your feet and making sure they're hip width distance apart. Let your arms hang down alongside your body, palms roll forward to face the front of the room. And you can let your eyes close or you can bring your gaze to a non-moving point in front of you. From here, we're just gonna begin by really sensing into your feet, maybe rocking your weight forward towards the ball mounds and back towards the heels until you really arrive in center where you feel your feet grounding you down into the earth. Once you've made that connection, let your mind's eye sort of travel up the back of your spine, even imagining that you can grow one inch of space in between your spine, getting a little bit taller. Bringing your awareness onto your breath. Not necessarily changing your breath, but just noticing the length of each inhale and the length of each exhale. Just giving your breath permission to flow deeply and evenly. Letting go of any of those tiny muscles that might be engaged in your face or your hands. Just really allowing for yourself to settle into this moment. With your next inhalation, blinking your eyes open, slowly lifting your arms forward and up. Palms face one another. Deep breath in as you extend your fingertips towards the ceiling. Feet press down into the ground. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Taking that one more time. Inhale, reaching your arms forward and up. Feel this long line. So you're extending not only the front body, but also the back body and both sides. With your next exhalation, slowly bend into your knees, hinge at the hips and come into a forward fold. With your next inhalation, let your hands glide up your legs, lifting your back halfway, come into a flat back. And exhale, fold. In these, bend, in these forward folds, you can bend your knees as much as you need. You could place that stack of books underneath your hands here to give yourself a little bit more lift. Inhale, lifting halfway. Once again, hands slide up the shins, come in, drawing the for crown of the head forward. Exhaling, fold. One more time, inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold and hold. Nod the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Let your breath become deep and even. Inhale, lifting halfway, come back into this flat back. Exhale, place the hands, step the right foot back, 
Right knee lowers, low lunge. From here, you just want to make sure that your knee is stacked on top of the ankle or is slightly behind the ankle. Fingertips touch down on the ground or you can place them on a stack of books. Inhale, find long line through the spine, deep breath in. Long breath out. One more breath in. Exhale, tuck the right toes, place the hands, step back, plank position, top of a push up. If this is not within your practice today, you can bring your knees down to the ground and come into a tabletop. From here, we're just looking for a long spine regardless of whatever position you're in. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lowering your body in one straight line all the way down to the ground. Inhale, draw the face and chest forward and up. You keep a long line through the back of your neck. And exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Final time, inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck the toes, plant the hands, push back and up, downward facing dog. So your body should look like you can have a deep bend in your knees. Your tailbone is reaching up towards the ceiling and the crown of your head is dropping down. Take a deep breath in and out. With your next inhalation, lift the right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot forward between the hands, left knee lowers. Once again, fingertips ground on the earth or on blocks. Inhale to draw the chest forward and up, deep breath in. And out. One more breath in. Exhale, tuck the left toes, step forward to fold. Bend in your knees as much as you need. Let your head go. With your next inhalation, you're going to bend into your knees and roll up the spine. Head rises last. You're rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Coming all the way up to standing and exhaling at the top. Inhale, sweeping the arms forward and up. Maybe a gentle back bend. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, place the hand, step the left foot back. Left knee lowers. Fingertips ground on the earth. Draw the heart forward and up, deep breath in. Exhale, plant the left hand down. Inhale, peel the right arm high, come into a twist. Exhale, right hand comes down. Tuck the left toes and lift the left knee. High lunge. So the back foot, the ball mound is pressing down into the ground, but the heel is stacked over top of it. The right knee is on top of the ankle or slightly behind. From here, you can hold as you are. Or really squeeze your hips in towards your midline and be, maybe begin to hover your fingertips. Deep breath in. And exhale, place the hands, step back, plank position or tabletop. You can lower your knees if you'd like. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lowering one straight line all the way down to the ground. Inhale, draw the heart forward and up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, heart comes forward and up. Exhaling, lower. One more time, inhale, lifting. Exhale, press the hands, tuck the toes, push back and up, downward facing dog. Let your breath become deep and even. Lift your tailbone a little bit higher. With your next inhalation, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step the foot through between your hands. 
Right knee lowered, slow lunge. Fingertips ground on the earth, drawing the heart forward and up. Deep breath in. Exhale, planting down through the right hand. Inhale to peel the left arm high. Twisting. Your next exhalation, lower the left hand down. Tuck the right toes and lift the knee. High lunge. Your right heel is stacking over the ball now. Left knee is behind the ankle or directly on top. From here, you can hold just as you are, finding this long line through the spine and deep breaths. Or you can begin to hover your fingertips, finding a sense of buoyancy. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more deep breath. Exhale, place the hand, step the right foot forward to fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend into your knees, roll up the spine one bone at a time. Coming all the way up to stand. Exhaling at the top. Inhale, sweeping your arms forward and up. Exhale, pull from the elbows, bring your arms behind your body. You're going to clasp your fingers together. If this isn't happening for you, you can take a shirt, you could take a sock, and you can just hold opposite sides. Inhale, draw the knuckles down, lift the chest high. Exhale, bend into the knees and folding forward. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Lift your knuckles towards the ceiling even more. Long breath out. Release the clasp. Inhale to roll up the spine, coming back. Hands come up. Exhale, hands come through heart center. Take a deep breath in, lifting the arms forward and up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, place the hand, step the left foot back. Not quite as far as a lunge. You're going to step it slightly out wide to the left. And the entire foot plants on the ground. So your back foot is at a diagonal. You're lunging into your right knee. With your next inhalation, lift the torso up. Warrior one. So from here, your hips should be pointing forwards. So if you were to put your hands on your hips, it feels like they're pointing directly in front. If that's not happening for you, walk this back leg in. Make your stance a lot shorter. You'll find you have more movement in your hips. Let yourself really evenly ground between the front foot and the back foot. Let your shoulders soften. Let yourself really take a deep breath in and a long breath out. With your next inhalation, lift the arms forward and up. Exhaling. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands come to your heart. You're going to begin to shift weight into your right leg. The left toes can still be on the ground. So I want to find a really straight line from your left heel all the way to the top of your head. So this is the pose. It's called Warrior Three. If you'd like to challenge your balance even more, you can begin to shift more weight into the right leg, lifting the left leg, and coming forward. You're looking for a straight line, heel to crown of head. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more breath in. Exhale, bend into the right knee, place the hands down, step the left leg back, high lunge. From here, inhale, pivot on your feet to face the side of your mat. Wide-legged fold. 
Inhale, lift halfway. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, walk the hands over to the left leg. Begin to fold towards that leg. If this is too intense for you, you can have your hands here. You can find blocks. You can bend into your knees. Just really listen to what your body needs. If you'd like to go even deeper, you can lift the left arm high, coming into a twist. Come back to your breath, deep and even breathing. Exhaling, come out of the twist if you went into one. Inhale to lift halfway through the spine. Exhale, come back through center and fold. One more time, inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, walk your hands over to the right leg. Maybe placing your hands on the ankle. Maybe they're still out front. You're just going towards the right. You can fold. You can bend your knees. If you'd like to deepen, you place the left hand down and then inhale your right arm high. Deep and even breath. With your next exhalation, slowly unwind. Lowering the hand, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, come back to center. From here, you're going to pivot back to the front of the mat. You're going to place the hand, step back, plank position, top of a push-up, or your knees are down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lowering one straight line all the way down. Inhale, lifting the chest forward and up. Exhale, push back and up, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend into your knees, begin to walk your feet forward towards your hands, coming to the top of your mat and folding. With your next inhalation, bend into your knees, roll up the spine, coming all the way up, arms come up high. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms come forward and up, gentle arch back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, place the hand, step the right foot back. Not quite as far as the lunge. The entire outer edge of the foot clamps down on the ground. Left knee is on top of the ankle. Inhale to lift your torso up. Hands come to your hips. For here, we're really feeling out where our hips are in space. If you can't imagine that your hips would draw a straight line forward, I want you to walk your back leg in and slightly wide. So really feeling yourself grounded between your two feet. Inhale to lift your arms forward and up. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more breath. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Slowly begin to shift weight into your left leg. The right toes are still on the ground. You have a straight line from your heel all the way to the crown of your head. From here, you can slowly, you can stay as you are, or you can slowly shift your weight forward. Coming into warrior three, straight line, heel to crown of head. Find your deep breaths here. Find a steady place to rest your eyes. Take another breath in. Exhale, begin to bend into the left knee. Place the hands down, step the right leg back. High lunge. Place the hands, step back, plank position or tabletop. From here, whichever variation you're in, 
If you're in plank, you just pivot your feet over onto the right side, lift your left arm. If that's not happening for you today, and you're in table talk, you're gonna extend your left leg behind, place it down on the ground, and maybe the right lower leg comes out behind you. Plant the right hand down underneath the shoulder. Inhale, lift the left arm high. You can hold here, or imagine that your armpit is hugging in towards your heart. You're gonna reach overhead. Take a deep breath in, and out. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly unwind, coming back, either table talk or plank and we'll do it from the opposite side. So you can either pivot all your weight over onto the left side, lift your right hand and hold, or you extend back through the right leg, place the foot down, pivot your lower left leg out, and the left hand plants under the shoulder. Inhale, right arm high. You can hold here or bring your armpit towards your heart Fingers reach overhead. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more breath. Exhaling, unwind. Coming back, tabletop or plank. From here, exhaling all the way down onto your belly. Inhale, lift the chest forward and up. And exhale, lower. Now inhale, lift just your left leg high. And lower. Just your right leg high. And lower. And now both legs together, but the rest of your body stays heavy on the ground. Inhaling to lift. Lift a little higher, and exhale lower. From here, you're gonna push up onto your hands and knees. Walk your knees a little bit wide. Big toes come close together. And you're gonna come back into what's called child's pose, resting your forehead to the ground. Let your breath become even and slow. See if you can relax here. Very slowly, you're gonna walk your hands under your shoulders and round through the back, slowly rolling up, coming to sit. From here, you can sit on a blanket, a block, maybe books. You could also just sit on the ground. But you're gonna extend your legs out in front of you. We wanna make sure that you have nice long spine here. So if you're sitting on the ground, and your low back looks like this, I would really suggest putting like a pillow under your bum or something to allow for yourself to get a little bit taller. For me, it's really helpful to bend my knees. I have tight hamstrings and I find that to be, create more space in my low back. So you can also do that. Even if your knees are bent or straight, regardless, have your toes pulled back towards your face. From here, inhale your arms high. Exhale, folding over your legs. And just holding onto your ankles, your shins, your calves. If you feel comfortable here, you can slowly begin to lengthen through the legs. Otherwise, I just invite you to hold that. Find long line through the back of your neck. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more breath in. And out. Inhale to reach the arms overhead, slowly lifting up. 
Exhale, place the hands behind your back, maybe, you know, a foot or so behind your bum. You're going to press down into your heels and press into your palms, lifting your body up. Maybe the toes come down to the mat. Head drops behind. Exhale to lower the bum back down. You're slowly going to scoot your way forward. Plant the feet on the ground. So your ankles, knees, and hips are in one straight line. You can hold on to your knees here. Or you can extend your arms overhead. You're going to round through the back and very slowly, with an exhale, lower down. Each time you have to take a breath in, you pause. And exhale, continue. Pausing for inhale. And exhale, continue. Once you arrive all the way down, reach your arms overhead. Give your legs out long. Give yourself a nice long stretch. And exhale, hug both knees into your chest. Let yourself gently rock to the right and to the left. And from here, you're going to place your feet down on the ground. So maybe you can touch the back of your heels. Your knees are in line with your hips. You're going to bring your arms out to the side, out long, or bend 90 degrees at the elbows. And from here, just allow for your knees to fall over to the left. Now, it might not feel like you're doing much. But just allow for yourself to breathe into this gentle stretch. With your next inhalation, slowly bring your legs back up to center. And exhale, let the legs fall to the right. Once again, slowing your breath. One more breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, bring your knees back up to center. Maybe giving your knees one last hug. Maybe bringing your forehead up towards the knees. And then slowly extending your leg out long. Your arms come out long. Just allowing for yourself to lie flat on the ground. Really extending and find length through your spine and all of your limbs. Letting your eyes drift closed. Letting yourself rest here for the next few minutes. And whenever you're ready, allowing for your thumbs to graze over each finger. You can slowly reach your arms overhead, extend your legs out long, give yourself a nice long stretch. Rolling over onto one side, coming into a fetal position, and then slowly pushing your way up, coming to sit. Resting your hands on your thighs or on your knees and just really allowing for yourself to come back into connection with your breath. Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And then you can return to your day, hopefully feeling a little bit more grounded, moving a little slower, and being a little bit more gentle with yourself. Thanks for practicing. Have a great day.